Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we're playing the sickest combo deck in Popper, Altertron. This deck looks to use Ashnod's Altar to sacrifice Mirror Retriever to get itself back, forming an infinite loop, making infinite golems, infinite mana, shooting our opponent for infinite and killing them immediately. We can also make infinite life with Weather the Storm and draw our deck with Blood Fountain and Energy Refractor with our infinite mana. It's really sick. So I've gone over this deck a lot. If you want to check out other videos for the in-depth analysis, and if you want sideboard guides for previous iterations, check out the Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about it and everything. But here, what I'm doing is testing something kind of wild, in my opinion, but it might not look that much different to you. What we're doing is going up to 18 lands for better mulligans, but... And we still have our crop rotation expedition map. I'm trying to get Tron as fast as possible. And then after that, we have 12 draw twos. So 12 divinations with Icar Wellspring, Deadly Dispute, and Ruins Grim Search. I'm completely cutting Candy Trail in this specific list and going to Weather the Storm for the life gain. So what does that mean? Um, we have so much card draw, card advantage type stuff that I think it's possible to just hard mulligan to a fast Tron hand and then rebuild from there by leveraging all of our draws and so that's the goal of this specific list we still have eight um colored sources with four chromatic star and four energy refractor while energy refractor is like the best colored source in this deck so it makes sense to just go to four of of that the sideboard and everything hasn't changed too much it's from other lists we've got fangren marauder for affinity and uh burn decks we've got nature's claim for glitters grudge for relics Scattershot for fairies, Stream of Thought for Weather the Storm decks. Um, that doesn't necessarily need to be in the deck, uh, post board in any sort of paper games. So you could just replace that with whatever you're trying to hard target. And then Nile Spellbomb here is for the graveyard decks. So I love the amount of card draw this deck has, and I'm really excited. Um, Ashnod's Altar itself is really sweet, and it's got a new upgraded printing, which I like. And then, you know, I love my Urza's Tower and all my Urza's Land here. I really got to get a set of these in paper. It's going to take me a while to get that, but uh, we'll see. This video is sponsored by CardMarket.com, the largest seller of Magic the Gathering cards in Europe. So if you want to check out them and get this deck or another deck and fill out your battle box, make sure to check out CardMarket.com. Uh, additionally, in the description below is the link to the uh, pondering popper podcast which i've been doing so check that out if you want to get some audio uh, enjoyment of popper and hopefully you also enjoy this video we'll see you in the matches all right we're in here in round one on the draw versus drink me we have an urza's tower only for our lands so i think we'd have to mulligan this one we're going to try to be not greedy with the keeps okay this is probably fine we can put back the weather the storm and then probably lead on mine, just in case we draw um, the power plant off the top. And then otherwise we can Grotto set up the Wellspring draw. Or we could just lead on Grotto since we're not doing anything turn one anyway, and see if we can find a crop rotation or a power plant off the top and then kind of move from there. Kind of the same-ish thing. I guess we probably want to get the card. Oh, wow. Okay, just draw it. Natural Tron, let's go. Play the mine, pass the turn. Our opponent lead on a preordain, so could be a fairy's deck, could be familiars, could be all sorts of things. No covered island though. Plays another island. Okay, so we don't really want to just jam the wellspring when it's our only thing going on. And it would only draw one card here. I can maybe lead on map and see if they want to counter it. Map doesn't do very much for us at this moment, so if they counter it, it's really good. Um, let's see. It's a juicy target for sure. They let it go. Play power plant. That's the turn. Okay, your turn. Let's see if they have another color here. They have nothing going on. They're going to preordain. They go top, bottom on the preordain. Imagine they play a land. Simic growth chamber. That's really bad. Okay, so it's turbo fog, which means we're going to have a very difficult time winning game one. Um, let's play the tower. Play the wellspring. We have to get golems onto the table as soon as possible. I'll cycle here. Okay, makeshift munitions is good. 
if we can get that underneath the counter spell, we'll be feeling pretty hot. Okay, pass the turn. Ugh. So, stream of thought specifically is for matchups like these where they have weathered the storm. Play this grotto. I'll bottom that and I'll yield until the next end step. If they want to tap out, I'll deadly dispute. Don't really need the crop rotation necessarily, but if I do find an energy refractor, I'd like to crop it away the grotto. Okay, they're going to use their Behold the Multi first. Nope, Eureka moment. I'm just going to deadly dispute. I'll turn off my uh, end step thing. Find the refractor. So now I can crop the grotto for another tower, and then I'll pass the turn. So they get to put a land onto the battlefield, grabbing a Bajuka Bog. Maybe I should have just waited until the land landed. That way I would have been able to uh, have the Icker Wellspring in the graveyard. So maybe that was a mistake there. Let's try playing this Energy Refractor. If they counterspell it, we're going to go Grotto, Makeshift Munitions, Mirror Retriever. Okay, they don't counterspell. Play this Grotto. So now the 18 lands is kind of biting me. I should have probably cropped before I did anything else there. That was a mistake as well. Oh man, I'm out of practice. They're going to grow a spiral. And that was it. Okay, so they untap for their... It's their turn. Find a Grim Search. Let's just cast it, I guess. I don't necessarily want to shuffle when I bottomed the land previously. Did they want to counterspell? It'd be hilarious if they countered this, actually. Um, Let's play another Grim Search. I guess I want to crop first. Crop this, grab a tower. I'm putting that mine back into the deck, but at least I have more mana. Play another mine and draw some cards. We find a wellspring. I'm building a storm count for them, which I don't like very much. So now I can pass the turn. I'll discard the swamp. Because basically with the refractor out, this is already a swamp because it can tap for one black or uh, colorless. We'll get rid of these two cards. They're going to hit a big weather here. Another growth spiraling. No weather the storm from them. Okay. But I think I'm going to just uh, deadly dispute on this wellspring. Our opponent has eight cards in hand. Only one green source. Find a golem foundry. That's awesome. I can start pressuring them, but they're getting close to being able to mill me. There's going to be a point where we have to try to kill them with munitions. Okay, they discard a deep analysis of the Golem Foundry. They Arcane Denial. Play Astronaut's Altar. Play my Mirror Retriever. They're going to Arcane Denial again. So now I think I have the moment to play out my makeshift munitions. If they have a third Arcane Denial, I'll be very sad. All right, so now... We can map and then crack the map for um, the cycle land. Oh no, they bogged that before. Just grab a tower. Then we can play the tower out or grotto. Probably better to grotto, I guess. All right, I'll take that. Okay. We're not going to weather the storm. <clears throat> Our opponent is going to weather the storm for a large amount. All right. They only have four cards in hand. We're going to be drawing four cards. And they're going to be drawing two cards, going up to seven cards in hand here. Draw two. Draw two again. They draw some cards. So we need to get lethal on board so that they have to use their green source to fog while also not having weather the storm up. They're going to growth spiral. They might... Wow, nothing? Okay, so this is our moment. They're tapping out. So if I can find um, Retriever, I can kill them this turn. It's going to take a long time. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is play a tower, play a star, a refractor. We draw the Golem Foundry. So let's get that on the table. Now I'm going to crack this for black. All I need is a Mirror Retriever and they're dead. But it'll take me a very long time. Bargain away this other refractor. On the Mirror Retriever and a Wellspring or Deadly Dispute. I'll take the Wellspring. Because now I'm digging for Blood Fountain. Trying to get two Golem Foundries on the table. We have to make a ton of mana. All right, Mirror Retriever. Let's bargain. 
the wellspring. Find another golem foundry, found a blood fountain. So that will be game. Take the chromatic star because it's the cheapest. We have 20 and a half minutes. All right, play a golem foundry. We're gonna sacrifice the golem. Play chromatic star. Okay. We're doing the thing right away, but it's gonna be really tough. Oh geez. Every every second counts here. <laughs> All right, 41. So how much? We have to consider the amount of uh, mana that is. This blood fountain. We need three golems to do two damage. I'm just going to start looping while I consider this. But it might always yield a mirror retriever. All right. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six artifacts on the table. That's six damage. So we need an additional three golems for that to deal six damage. And then they'll be at. 35 so i need to make to figure out the amount of uh mana i need to make 35 i don't know if i can do this in time okay 35 15 sets of two plus another three sets of two so 18 sets of two whatever i'll just start doing stuff and then uh see you have to fog every turn oh we only have 10 cards in our in our library so can they mill me this next turn? Maybe. Looks like yes. So I actually have to win this turn? Darn. All right, maybe I will just pause and let you know when it's over. But let's see. Okay, let's, let's show you some optimization of this time. Right now we have 21 on each golem foundry. So first thing I'm going to do is sacrifice the mirror retriever. Floating mana. And I'm going to put all these on the stack. I'm going to hit yield through this turn. F6. Oh my god, they scooped. I cannot believe it. Wow, they must not have had a, a, a way to get through me. They just like scooped in the combo. That's extremely unusual for a fog player. Wow. I can't believe that happened. Uh, one, two, three. Maybe they just assumed that it wasn't going to take too long and I had enough to kill them, but I don't think I did. <laughs> oh, my heart. So stream of thought is very important. We want the Nile spell bombs as well. And obviously all the weather the storms can come out, so that's a pretty easy swap. There is some possibility that they have a relic, so I have to consider the Ancient Grudge. I also have to look and see how much uh, memory usage, and we're at pretty high here, so I have to restart the application. All right, so we have the weather the storms out. I, had, I restarted the application, and we're at 1,000, or no, 955 right now, which is much better. We could potentially bring in the Ancient Grudge and cut one crop rotation or cut one land i'll cut one i think i'm not gonna i'm not gonna respect the relic we're up a game so we don't necessarily have to respect the relic we have a decent hand probably lead on grotto that way we can see what's up we're looking for a mine obviously okay we find the map so that's an easy decision turn three tron gotta go for it so our first couple turns are pretty laid out here. We're just going to grab the mine. And then uh, next turn, play the Nile Spell Bomb right away. See if they counter it. And then we can go Bobble and Retriever. The AK draws them a card. There are no other AKs in the graveyard. All right, mine. Play this Nile Spell Bomb. Play Conjurer's Bobble. And Mirror Retriever. They're going to counter the Retriever. Okay, so we have to consider using the bobble to save the retriever from something like a fairy macabre. But they did give us two cards, and that's fine for me. Like, okay, we're gonna say yes and draw two cards. We can draw the golem foundry, sweet. So they have no lands. Okay, there's a Simic Growth Chamber. Picks up their island. I'll go golem foundry. Play a chromatic star. And then we have to always yes, always yields on the golem foundry. Play another Nile spell bomb. And then I guess I'm going to grotto and see what's on top. Another blood fountain, or one blood fountain. So I'll top that, crack this for black, play the blood fountain. Now I have a golem to pressure them. And then I think I can just discard the other grotto here using my mana. Discard the grotto. Find a deadly dispute. All right. I mean, I might as well just pop a golem and then 
past the turn. So I don't want to just F6 anymore because the AK would draw them two cards and I want to use the Nile Spellbomb. I could have just Nile Spellbomb there as well, but I didn't seem like I needed to. Okay, now I have even more Nile Spellbombs. So I might as well use the first one. Spellbomb you. They can AK in response here. They did not. Okay, let's play an Energy Refractor. That's very good for me. Draw a card. I'm going to play Nile Spellbomb again. I think I'm just going to Grim Search here as just a draw to. And it's awesome that we drew the Stream of Thought because now they can't mill it. It's going to be in our hand. They use Dispel. Okay. Uh, let's bobble back the Grim Search. Interesting. They're going to Growth Spiral in a Bajuka Bog. Okay. So we lose the Bobble and one Mirror Retriever. We don't get to draw off the Bobble. But they're going to take three damage. Okay. They reveal a Rhymewood Falls off the Lorien Revealed. Sorry, I missed that. They're going to pass the turn. We have a Crop Rotation. We can Crop the Grotto. And get another Grotto. And then see if there's anything good. If there's something good on top, I can try drawing it with the Nile Spellbomb. Grotto. Dramatic Star. That's probably worth. Well, let's just spell on you again with the chromatic star. And then I am going to just deadly dispute it right now. I'm building up a storm count. Once again, I recognize that. We have another dispel. That's a surprise. All right, I'm going to F6 and attack you. One cool thing with the stream of thought is that you could maybe um, put it back in the deck with the conjurer's bauble, but I don't have a conjurer's bauble anymore. And I've run out of things to do. Four mana to play Deep Analysis. We preordain. Maybe this is a good spot to get rid of their Deep Analysis. I shouldn't have uh, probably responded to that. They're not going to cast a Deep Analysis, though. Another mine. Let's attack again. Make a black. Exile our Deep Analysis. And draw some cards. Another crop rotation. A crop for a tower. And I guess I play the mine. Because at some point I could have enough mana in play to stream of thought them naturally. We're at 1350 on clock. They weather the storm for six life, and they arcane denial their own weather, so that's going to draw them a ton of cards. We have nothing going on. They draw three cards, up to seven. Plays a Thornwood Falls, going up to 12 life. Okay, they're tapping for a Lauren Reveal, it looks like. Draws three cards. We draw a Grim Search. I'm going to attack for six. Let's see what happens. They're taking it. So I'm trying to look for an opening to cast the Grim Search. Looks like here. They're wilting. Okay, I'm going to respond. I was going to sacrifice it anyway. Thank you. Let's see if this bargain uh, Grim Search will resolve. The Arcane Denial, the Grim Search. All right, we're still going to draw two. Seems kind of weird to counter my draw two. Draw two cards, drawing a tower and a star. Play a snow covered forest. Two mana, three mana, four mana. Stream of thought to me. Okay. We mill map star. We put back a bunch of stuff. We mill double retriever and energy refractor. What did they have before? The Bajuka Bog, right? Seemed like that was our only graveyard hate. They foretell a card. I'm going to attempt to get back the two retrievers. Okay, they come back. Nice. Let's go. Mirror Retriever to Mirror Retriever into Chromatic Star and an Icker Wellspring. If I draw into a, uh, what's it face? Astronaut's Altar, we can win the game here. It just doesn't seem like they have anything going on. Uh, let's, uh, I was considering using the Chromatic Star for the Deadly Dispute. I think it's probably better just to do this this way because I draw a Deadly Dispute right now and then I can like Deadly Dispute the Chromatic Star too. And the Golem Foundry. Let's crack this for black now. Another Refractor. Play the Refractor. We're making more Golems. I'm just playing right into a Weather the Storm though. Cycle. Find another Retriever. I guess I play out my Retriever. Get some more Golems. Play an Expedition map. And I will attack three potentially putting them at 30 life 33 life with the weather storm here they don't have it uh they might have it behold looking for a weather 
Let's see if they go bottom, bottom. They do. They have the weather. All right. I probably should have deadly disputed one of the retrievers to get back the blood fountain. That was weird. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. We're at 15 cards. They have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They can mill us for 12 right now only. Looks like they're going to go for it. Oh, no, they're drawing. Okay, Lauren revealed. I'm just going to make some golems. They go to 29. Cards in library, I mean. Not 29 life. They're at 36 life. Find the astronaut's altar. Let's start by attacking with everything. They're taking it. Attempt to cast an astronaut's altar. They use an accumulated knowledge. Looking for a counter, maybe? They don't have a counter. I think we win. The growth spiraling in a bajuka bog. That's okay. I don't need that. If they have a counter now, I'm dead though. Okay. So they have enough mana to mill me out here anyway, so I'm just going to draw the cards. They're going to growth pick up the bajuka bog with a growth chamber. Cast an AK, draw two cards. They have eight cards in hand. We're currently at 12 cards in library. They cast an Azure Fleet Admiral. They draw off the Monarch. There are 22 cards in the library. Kind of makeshift munitions. So we have a couple of ways to kill them here, I think. Let's attack with everything. They take 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15. They become the Monarch. So at this point, the munitions is lethal because we can just play the munitions and shoot them with everything on our board. Uh, like a red makeshift munitions. They have a counter spell. Let's draw a card first. I should have cracked the map. All right, will this resolve? Okay. Two, four, six. They're at 22, so we need five, six, maybe seven. And then it's six times six mana. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. They just scoop it up. I don't understand. Uh, but okay. We did have the stream of thought, so we would have gotten there eventually. Um, I think they maybe just were not really into it, so go to round two. We're here in round two versus Oliver Jukes, who likes to play either blue control or hyper aggro, so I'm going to mulligan this hand. It's not good versus either. We only have one land. We have uh, Tron, and we have Weather the Storm from Search. I think I'm going to keep this and put back the Weather, even though that seems like the riskiest possible play. Um, it has the highest upside with the card draw. They're on blue, so we're feeling pretty good now. Although Fairy Seer turn one is scary. Uh, mine, map, we're going to have turn three Tron. Will they ninja? No ninja. Land, grab the tower. So probably just grotto and see what's on top here. Get some value. I'm going to bottom the mine. And I could play the star, have it get countered. And then play the wellspring. Okay, no counter from the opponent. So that's good. They just hold, held up the mana and didn't do anything. They play an auger of bolus. So they currently only have one mana available. Snuff out from the opponent. So we are going to be able to drop some stuff. Draw some cards. Let's go. Could have a spell pierce. So Icar wellspring. Make black. Let's grim search the wellspring. Find Mirror Retriever, Deadly Dispute, and a Golem Foundry. Okay, I think I'm going to play the Golem Foundry here because I can get it back with the Mirror Retriever. They did not have the Spell Pierce, so now we're in a really, really good position. It's very difficult for fairies to beat an onboard Golem Foundry. They get in. So let's start with Expedition Map. We'll get another tower. Well, we don't need land drops, right? Oh, well. Let's grab the uh, cycle land, play um, a wellspring. They use their fairy or spell star sprite to counter the wellspring. Okay, now we can go land, green for crop rotation, crop this, get another tower, play the energy refractor. So I really wanted that to resolve. And then we can play a mirror retriever, eventually getting back the wellspring that they countered and cycle this. Another Wellspring. Yeah, having a lot of Wellsprings just feels really good. Draw so many cards. We're at 37 right now, but it is notable that we're only at 13 life. They could snuff out on the Golem Foundry to get in. I mean, the Golem Token. 
Okay, I'll make a creature. I know they have snuff out in hand. What does this auger draw them? Another snuff out. Okay, so both my creatures are likely dead here. An Icar Wellspring. I don't know if having the... Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to Deadly Dispute on the Wellspring here, which will maybe draw the counter out. No counter? Okay. They didn't bite. Let's play another Wellspring. And another Deadly Dispute. No counter again. Maybe they just don't have it? Seems unlikely. Play a land, play a bobble, and then I'll play the makeshift munitions. Because now, if they really don't have a counter, they, they have the counter finally. We're going to bobble the makeshift munitions. And then we can, we can just deadly dispute at some point. Or just weather the storm here. Let's deadly dispute the mirror retriever. Get back another wellspring. Yeah. We have lots and lots of cards. We're at 26 in deck now, and I'm going to go green, weather the storm, and pass the turn. I don't need to attack them. I'd rather them use the snuff outs and just uh, worry about getting in. We're at 38 life. We do draw enough cards, I think, that the weather the storms are fine. <laughs> New mana. They have Augur of Volus. So three unknowns right now. Let's see what their last card is. Their next card, I mean, find a brainstorm. So they're looking to put back the snuff outs here, likely, and get a really good brainstorm. They just scoop. I love it. I don't know how that happened, but I'll take it. So we really want the scatter shots versus fairies. We don't really need as many of the weather the storms. And then there's a possibility that we want the ancient grudge, but I think we're probably better off just keeping it like this. I think we can probably find a moment that the crop rotation will be effective. So we wanted to keep them in the deck because versus blue decks, you want to have as much mana as possible to try to go over the top of them. All right. We once again have Tron on turn three. If the expedition map resolves, we play an island. We can't afford to not play the map. So I'm just going to jam it. Map. Do you have a spell pierce? No, sweet. They cycle a Lorien reveal probably for an aquifer. They get an ice tunnel. I was wrong. They ponder. They might have a shuffle effect here. Plays Demir Aqueduct, a bounce land. So next turn, they're probably going to play the aqua, the ice tunnel. We have power plant as a four of still. We grab the power plant. And they could leave up um, spell starter sprite for a one drop. I'll play the power plant and see if the golem foundry will resolve. They have to tap all their mana to counterspell it. Putting you to the test, do you have a counterspell? And the reason that the Golem Foundry is so good versus them is that it just bricks their ninjas, and ninja is the, the big part of the game. Use a counterspell. Okay, we're gonna go Icar Wellspring, draw a card, play a Mirror Retriever. Next turn, we can uh, Grim Search the Retriever to get back the Foundry and play the Foundry. We know they have a tap land in hand. Do they have an untap land? Play a Relic. They can relic away the map. That's sort of a disappointment for me. Play Crystal Grotto. Scatter Shot's pretty good. Top that. Play a Chromatic Star. See if they want to Spell Stutter. They did not want to Spell Stutter. Crack this for black. So there's the Scatter Shot that we knew about. Bargain. Using the Wellspring. We should have respected the Relic, I guess. They Dispel. Flame. We will play the makeshift munitions. Send for one. Now we just need to draw Icar Wellsprings and we can force over them. They can relic my Grim Search away. Plays a land. Play Expedition Map. And here I'm going to grab the Cycle Land so I can cycle it and uh, put another card in the graveyard. Cycle. All right. Uh, play the Mine. And an attack. One damage. When it goes to 18. We have two cards that we don't care about that are in the graveyard that we can get rid of. Maps is going to be the first to go. They have an escape tunnel. Four cards in hand. Will my 1-1 one, one go the distance? I can play this Conjurer's Bobble. And then I can... Well, let's, let's build up to this. But there's a point where I can make shift munitions them to get back the Golem Foundry. And then bobble back whatever one I want of those two cards. To 
get value out of the bobble and keep that in my deck. They're sacrificing the escape tunnel, so they did not plan on using it to make their creature unblockable. They relic away the polluted mire. We draw a deadly dispute. All right, let's attack. Play a land. I guess in like one more turn, we can weather the storm, and then that's another card in the graveyard for them to eat with the relic. And now they're going to relic away the chromatic star. Let's try to put the golem foundry back with the bobble. They are going to allow it. Okay. I think I'd rather have the golem foundry in the deck than the mirror retriever. So far, they use dispel and counterspell. I just need some artifacts. Things I can sacrifice and shoot them with. Hmm. We only had two Weather the Storms in the deck and we drew it. Oh, we also drew one of our two Scatter Shots. Another Mirror Retriever. So let's start by attacking. We got a 15. We're going to Weather the Storm in response. And exile the Weather the Storm to the Relic. <laughs> kind of silly. They're at six cards. All right, I'm going to attack with the Mirror Retriever. I'm going to attempt to deadly dispute it to get back the wellspring. Just really want that card. Do they have a counterspell? I mean, they've been sitting on nothing for a long time, so they could easily have a counterspell here. Crack the relic, and we draw a card. Will this resolve? Nope. Mirror Retriever? That resolves. Okay. I mean, we have nothing to get back with the Mirror Retriever. I just wanted it to not get countered. Maybe there's no reason for them to counter it here. All right. We're going to ping you. And then cast a weather the storm. Okay, what do you got? Show me the monarchy. How many wellsprings have we drawn? We're at 22 cards on the deck. We've drawn one wellspring, one star. Like basically nothing. Just a lot of lands. Find a grim search. So I'm going to grim search them on their upkeep. Grim search myself on their upkeep. So if they want to counterspell it, they have to do it on their turn. All right, uh, spell setter sprite. Okay, let's respond with a Grim Search. This smells like a ninja to me. Should have done it on their upkeep still. Another Spell Sitter Sprite. Do you have another Spell Sitter Sprite? Oh my god, this would be so awesome. Oh, blowout. The epic blowout. Oh my goodness. Boom. <laughs> okay, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Oh my god, what a blowout. That was insane. Okay, we will draw two. Pass the turn. Oh, wow. You'll love to see it. That was absurd. They brainstorm. We have an energy refractor, so we can play that. And then if that resolves, I mean, they've already used three spell setters. There's probably not another one. Let's try getting the astronauts all turned to the battlefield. See no reason for them to counter it. Yeah. Play chromatic star. Okay. Let's just. Throw the altar at their fairy. And then I'm gonna throw the star at them. Draw a card. Can't believe they had four sprites in hand. <laughs> that was nuts. I don't know, but uh I feel like our draw kind of lined up there. <laughs> right. Ooh, we draw a wellspring. But we can play the wellspring now. A deadly dispute. So let's just go ahead and deadly dispute the wellspring. They're gonna counterspell. Big ol' loose focus for eight. One, we only have five mana to pay. But we cannot pay. Let's see if we draw anything. Yeah, we drew the golem foundry. I mean, hopefully we can find a follow-up. Like, the best follow-up here would be another mirror retriever, and then we can just loop them, pinging them, making golems, winning the game. Okay, they have nothing. Come on, mirror retriever. We did not find it. Just F6. They have no more spell starter sprites in their entire deck. We've only used... We've used half of our draw twos. There's four left. Find a wellspring. Very good. So we're gonna always yes, always yield. Another scatter shot. Ping you for one. There's the retriever. That's GG. Do do do. Shoot you. Get back the retriever. Play the retriever. So this is what I call the slow munitions loop. For three mana, you can shoot them for one. Sacrificing the mirror retriever. Getting back a mirror retriever and playing the mirror retriever. We'll do it one more time. Shoot you for one. Sacrifice the mirror retriever. Get back the mirror retriever. And play a mirror retriever. I don't want to use all of my sacrifices. Maybe it's worth it. All right. That'll give me two golems. So I think I'm going to do it here, actually. Shoot you for one. Get back the retriever. 
play the retriever now we have double golems so we have seven damage on the uh next turn hydroblast okay three for one get back the mirror retriever we have no way to get that munitions back anymore they may have some removal spells here make a golem make a golem i don't see a removal spell let's draw a card with energy refractor they have no more spells that are sprites so they can't flash in a blocker play a mirror retriever attack for lethal question mark they're going to snuff out i will grim search i'll take hmm this golem foundry and grim search Okay, they take three here going to three right unless they have another removal spell another removal spell funny that we drew another grim search we'll bargain this take the two stars just for cheap cycles i guess it's the same amount of mana okay they take no damage we're gonna go golem foundry and then place some stars a star yield to the next one Crack it for black. Okay. We have a crop rotation. Let's crop uh, the grotto for a tower. Oh, we just win. Okay, sweet. What were we going to draw? Nothing. But we got there. They had zero cards in hand. We had ultimate value. Let's go to round three. We're here in round three on the draw. We're going to mulligan. Okay, we have double power plant. We have deadly disputes. We can sacrifice the chromatic star to make a blood, to play blood fountain, to make a blood. I think I can keep this. I think I'm gonna put back. Hmm. So what's my what's like the plan here? I have no idea what they're on. I guess it's the golem foundry. It's like the most expensive thing here. Just uh go lean when you're mulliganing. Double power plant's kind of medium. No covered island for the opponent. We're just gonna throw the star down and hope they don't have a spell pierce. Spell pierce would ruin my day. They did not spell pierce me. On triple deadly dispute here. Hopefully we draw a colored source. Something to do. They play an island. Augur of Bolas. So they could be on blue, red, scred, uh, fairies, all sorts of different things. Expedition map is very solid for me here. You play map. So the question is whether or not I play the blood fountain. I think yes. It's giving me more value on the table and drawing me a card. Play the blood fountain. Now I have a blood, and I think at this point I probably have to sacrifice the map for a grotto. My opponent, they play the ponder. They're going to not shuffle. They're on Is It Scred, it looks like. The blue red terror deck. They're foretelling. So, what can we do here? We're going to map, grab a grotto, play the grotto, looking for lands. Fractor is probably fine. Well, not another land, so I have to bottom it actually. Let's blood token away an Ashnod's altar. I'm looking to try to get Tron. They cycle the Ash Barons, and they're probably gonna just grab an island. And they'll have counterspell up and everything. Now they oh they've grabbed a mountain. So they did foretell the behold the multiverse. We can probably expect them to cast it on our end step. Find a mine. So I'm gonna yield until my end step. Expecting them to uh, use the behold. And then I can deadly dispute the blood fountain to draw some cards. And they tapped off of blue, so they're not on uh, spell pierce here. We just need the cards. All right, we can pass. So I can maybe mirror retriever and deadly dispute it, getting back the expedition map, but that's kind of mediocre. Hmm. They have lightning bolt face. They're trying to build up to playing a terror then, most likely. If four, five, six, seven, they can play the terror. Ponder. Yeah, I have nothing I can play. This next turn we have five mana from lands and then the treasure token. So if they tap out to play the terror, then I can go Ashnaut's Altar plus play the Mirror Retriever. They cycle all Loin Revealed. I'm pretty much expecting a terror here. They'd have to not hold up Counterspell though. They considered it for a long time and then just didn't do it. I think they just wanted to play it for one mana. Scred's their own creature. Okay, they've got double terror then. It's funny. Okay. Um, we can go... Hmm. I think I'm going to star and then dispute the star. Fractor. There's the tower. 
can play Alter, play a Mirror Retriever, play an Energy Refractor. The crop rotation, very solid. Now I can crop this and grab a tower. And I'm way ahead on mana. And I think I'm good at that point. A little bit sketched out about this 10 power on the board. Let's see if they have more damage. Or I have to find a Weather of the Storm very soon. I play an Augur of Bolas. My plan is likely to block a Deadly Dispute. Right now they're looking for a removal spell. They have not cast any counter spells so far this game. They reveal a Brainstorm. So if they do Brainstorm, that's good for me. They get in. Okay, we'll block. And what do I want to get back? I feel like I should go for the Deadly Dispute. It'll tap them out. We're going to get back the Blood Fountain. We cannot play through a Spell Pierce here. They decide to not counter spell. Okay, we'll take five damage. And this is where not having Candy Trail is kind of a bummer because it's a lot of power on the table. Playing a Wellspring. Trying to find a Weather of the Storm. Play a Chromatic Star. I'm going to crack it for black. And then I have the Blood Fountain. They don't counter. Play a Wellspring. Another Retriever is good. Play a Retriever. They're brainstorming looking for a Counterspell. No Counterspell. Um, so I can like... I can draw a couple of cards here. I have six, seven mana. I can go to six mana with the Bobble. Bobble back a Deadly Dispute that draws a card. I can Retriever back the Deadly Dispute, go up to eight mana. But then I can't play out both Retrievers. I'm going to lead on Bobble, return a Deadly Dispute, no Weather the Storm still. And I'm just going to use the Blood Fountain to get back the Mirror Retriever and just play it out. Okay, that's going to resolve. We pretty much have, have to fade like Double Removal Spell. If they have Double Removal Spell, then we don't have any good options. So the only thing I can do here is loot into a Weather the Storm. Blood token loot. Do we find it? Nope. All right, GG. So we can afford to cut the crop rotations, and I think one weather the storm for the Nile spell bombs, and that's probably fine. I don't usually have uh, any number of relics. All right, let's do this. This hand is really wonky. Um, we have stuff to do, I guess. Lead on the map. They play a, a volatile fjord. Let's get this energy refractor out under a counter spell and another map. So we're likely to have Tron soon. Well, if by soon you mean uh, turn four, I guess it's turn four. Power plant. I guess I can just play another map. I have the Tron. Now I'm feeling confident, but we'll see. A cycle of Lorien. We can't let them double terror us out of nowhere. It was pretty funny how they had to scred their terror. Oh, their Creature to get double terror. That's exactly what they needed. Plays a land and a ponder. Okay. They went for no shuffle. We'll grab the tower. Imagine stifle effects if they just stifled me there. That'd be terrible. I'm gonna go for the Nile spell bomb. Cycle this mire. Draw weather the storm. Okay. So we're relatively safe from attacks, I guess now. Will they monarch? Play an Augur of Bolas. Okay. Finding a counterspell. That stinks. Let's see what we draw. Basically, nothing right now. I'm going to crack this and get a grotto so that I can scry. A little bit of value. We were talking about whether or not to use the uh, surveil land, and obviously, in this point, that surveil land would be better. I'm trying to hold on to all my draw spells. They're brainstorming. So that's the third spell for a terror. If they find a land, I mean, they could just go land terror here, but then they'd be tapped out. There's an auger of bolus to clear the brainstorm and get extra value. Very nice. They find a Lorien revealed. So there's an option to, they're attacking. Like, I think it's probably wise to just go for the um, Grim Search with no bargain. They're unlikely to counter spell here. If they do, we have another Grim Search. We could also untap and Grim Search the Spell Bomb and use the value off the Spell Bomb. Like, I don't necessarily need to uh, Spell Bomb them here. 
But I guess I would if they countered. They are going to counter. Okay. So, yeah, let's just spell them and see what value we get. Maybe we can get something off the top. Grotto's not great. Another spell bomb. That's Grotto. Chromatic Star. Put that on top. Play a spell bomb. Make it black. That's Grim Search. Bargain away the spell bomb. Pay the black. You draw the star. Golem Foundry. Um, and then we can have Mirror Retriever or Wellspring. Mm, I think I want the Wellspring over the Retriever here. Play the Golem Foundry. Hopefully I don't have a, a cast into the fire. And we'll pass the turn. So I'm just, I took the Golem or the Wellspring because I felt like it gave me over more value. But I guess I could have played the Mirror Retriever and then blocked with it to get back the Wellspring. And that would have been even more value. So, I have to say. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I get in for two. No cast into the fire yet. Cycles the Lorien revealed. It's sort of surprising that they didn't just jam it. If another Fjord plays the Fjord. We know they have Counterspell in hand. That's Icker Wellspring. No Counterspell. Oh no, wait, they Counterspelled before, so they don't have that in hand anymore. Power. I'll crack this for a black, see if I can draw something. Looking to just, okay. Play this altar. See if that will resolve. Counterspell. I can play the Blood Fountain. See if they have another counter. They don't appear to have another counter. Let's discard a mine. Blood Fountain back the Retriever. And play the Retriever. No Counterspell, okay, great. Weather Storm's still not doing anything. They kill the Mirror Retriever with anything but cast into the fire. We get back Blood Fountain, replay it again, and get back Mirror Retriever. Play Murmuring Mystic. I mean, that can definitely add up, but I don't think it's going to win the game. If they have a cast into the fire, I'm feeling sad. Okay, let's make a Golem and F6. I still just need to top deck another draw spell. We've only drawn two of them. So, chances are high. Make a bird. And did they shuffle? They did shuffle. Okay, we have a map. That's sort of, that's not really action because the polluted mire is already in the graveyard. Crack this, get a grotto, and then we can scry again. There's that swamp again. All right. I'm gonna, might as well attack. They're probably not gonna block. Okay. We go lightning bolt face. I don't think I need to weather the storm here for nine. I think that's not that effective. I can probably get more value out of it later. They have an Augur Volus. Uh, they reveal a counter spell. They're going to swing with two birds. Okay. We'll go to 10. Now we have to draw things. Okay. We have power plant. Uh, I guess I'll pass. They have five cards in hand. One's a counter spell. They attack for two. I can't really afford to play into their counters and let them have more birds. We have, all of our grottos are on the table. Pass. Okay, Grim Search. All right, well, we're building up some things to do. We cast the Lorien Revealed. Okay, so now I think we have an opening. Plays a land. So do I think that they're going to counterspell the Mirror Retriever? I think it's probably unlikely. Oh, you know what? If I Grim Search the Mirror Retriever to get back the Blood Fountain, then they're pretty, they don't have very many good options. Let's do that. Cycles of Lorien revealed? Wow. Look over an island. I think they already played a land this turn, though. So now they're tapped out. And I think I just win. Grim search. Bargain this. Now I can get back to Ashnod's altar. It doesn't matter that that's dispelled. Because now we have enough to go infinite and draw our deck with the Blood Fountain. Okay. I'll just mix a mana. Alright. Golem Foundry. We got there. Astronaut's Altar, make a play Mirror Retriever. We will sacrifice the Mirror Retriever to get back Blood Fountain. Play Blood Fountain. And then tap four mana, make a black. Get back the two Mirror Retrievers. Play Mirror Retriever. Then play another Mirror Retriever. And then we can sacrifice this to get back the Blood Fountain. Play the Blood Fountain. So this is infinite loots. All right, sacrifice the Mirror Retriever. 
All right, they scooped. That was nice of them. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Now we're on the draw. They didn't have Relic. I think we're good to just submit. I mean, maybe we could trim one Grotto on the draw. But what would I bring in? I feel like just for consistency's sake, we want the Grotto. Possible that the munitions and the bobble is not necessary whatsoever. Like maybe I should have just left those, like cut those out and then left the crop rotations. Yeah, that probably would have been a better plan. But we just have Tron anyway, okay. I mean, this is not a great setup. We don't have any card draw whatsoever, but we do have turn three Tron. But we just got to keep it. And Bell Pierce test. <laughs> they have it uh, wrecked. Oh, well. We got plenty of lands. Okay, land for the opponent. Place Augur of Bullis. Hopefully they whiff. <laughs> nice, they whiffed. And we can tower into an energy refractor just in case we do draw the mine. We draw a chromatic star. So this next turn we can try to get the makeshift munitions down. Because that can uh, get us through a bunch of cards. Like if we draw into the slow ping combo or other stuff like that. Like Grotto. Map on top. Guess I star and crack for the map. No, I think I'm still just going to play the munitions. I doubt they brought in Hydroblast. Red. We will draw the munitions, or the uh, map. Play the makeshift munitions. They have one spell in the graveyard. It'll take a while for them to get any terrors online. We could just jam the monarch here. It's in for one. Okay. No ninja-ing. Nonsense like that. They do play the monarch. Okay. Not great. Map. And... We're gonna grab the mine, play the mine. Uh, Monarch's gonna be a really big a problem. They play a land, they get in for four, we go to 14. We're just gonna draw cards and counter us. Uh, let's try playing an altar. Okay, one, uh, they play Behold the Multiverse. Kind of expected a counter spell. All right, let's play Nile Spellbomb. Okay, at least we can make some storm here. Well, bomb you. We'll draw. Now I'm going to tap for green and gain 12 life. So that's four turns. We just need to get to the point where we have enough to like actually force through them, but they're on the monarch. They're going to have seven cards in hand every single time they pass the turn. Plays an auger of bolus. Reveals a ponder. They get in for four. Okay. There's a relic. So they are on relics. Everybody's relicking each other. Play this land and pass the turn. Getting rid of my weather the storm, maybe the map. I mean, at this point, my win condition is them timing out. Seems kind of unlikely. We have literally nothing going on. They're going to brainstorm. I suppose if they end up like cycling their land here and not leaving open counterspell, I will bargain away the refractor. All right. Let's draw some cards. We find Golem Foundry, Deadly Dispute. I maybe should Deadly Dispute the altar here. Hmm. I didn't do it though. They have five damage now. We only have a couple of turns left. One, two. They have six mana. Ugh. They're going to cast a spell. Okay, now they only have four mana, so they can cast two counter spells. They whiff on the Augur of Bolas. They slightly increase the clock. Play Golem Foundry. Kind of assume it gets countered. There's a counter spell. Play a Chromatic Star. Play this black. Deadly Dispute the Chromatic Star. So that's three cards if they don't counter. They have a Dispel. We have nothing. Ugh. Floundering. Literally just not drawing anything. One, two. So we've seen 23 cards, huh? Once again, just flooding out. Sort of disappointing. But that's okay. I mean, that Monarch really is just wrecking us. What are you going to do? I guess nah, I'm dead next turn if they have attack plus bolt. I need a Wellspring off the top that doesn't get countered. Or they could play a Terror and attack for lethal on the next turn. There's plenty of ways for them to kill me. Relish Shaman. Uh, okay. Doesn't change the clock. Play the Crystal Grotto. Deadly Dispute on top. I guess we keep it. Although they can kill the altar here. If they kill the altar, then we have to concede. 
because we have nothing to, dead, to deadly dispute. All right, you got me. GG. On round four. Okay, I think that the problem in that last game was just not keeping a hand with card draw, so let's try to focus on that as well. We're two and one. We're on the draw. So we have Tron, but we have to just put back something. I think it's the Golem Foundry, because the Mirror Shriver can get back the Chromatic Star. I'm never in like a hyper rush to combo with this deck. Rust Veil Bridge. So it could be, all right. This could be some sort of uh, Glitter's deck. Or it could be Boros. We're most likely going to see a Thraven Inspector here. That's my guess. It is Just Guy Glitters. So they don't have counter spells, but they do have a fast clock. They play a Ginger Brute, put us to 19. We're looking to draw into Weather the Storms, and we draw the Weather. So we go green, prop rotation this, grab the power plant. I like to do it before the draw spell, just to thin. I mean, for the draw effect. We draw, play a mirror retriever. If we find another mirror retriever, we can make infinite life. All the glitters. Two, three, six damage on turn three. Just so easy. <laughs> Okay, Alter, play Retriever, I'll attack you for one, and then I have to sit around making infinite life. <laughs> Complain and get rewarded, that's what I always say. Alright, um, this is a problem though, because then clicking through this is going to be terrible. Hmm, Alter the Retriever, oh well, I did it to myself, play Star. Retriever, just do it over and over. So I'll see how long this takes, but it's a lot easier to just click the mana than it is to click the card. So I'm letting it, since there's only one um, creature in the, the graveyard, it's like really easy to loop here. Just the clicking the mana, that's kind of annoying. What should we go to, Storm 50? 150 life, is 150 life enough? All right, let's try it. We're currently 23 minutes on clock. I'll try to go to Storm 50, I'll see you there. Our opponent asked if we had weather. I told them I'm going to go to Storm 50. I was hoping they would concede to that, <laughs> but they didn't. He said he would concede. All right, well, I'm just going to go to Storm 20, at least 30, so I can have 100 life. Because I do have the loop still, and if I draw another colored source in the next some number of turns, I can just do it again. They said that they would concede to the, the weather, and I really appreciate that. Um, this gets to the point where, like, you know... Not, not everybody is uh, in good faith, so I'm still going to build a buffer. Storm 30 is probably fine. All right. Oh, we actually can just make infinite life again. <laughs> that was pretty funny, though. <laughs> we can just loop the mirror retrievers. That was nice. Uh, let's see what we would have drawn. It's really hilarious that uh, we drew the infinite on turn three. Oh, man. Just natural draw. Okay. We bring in all of these things. So this specific way that I'm handling post board is probably not good or less good in paper. You need to be very specific about um, your time management. I'm gonna cut this grotto here, or maybe the swamp. No, it's fine. So I'm cutting the entire combo package in one land, going down to 17 lands, because we need to be getting a good hand anyway if we want to win and i have four interactive spells with the three nature claim and the grudge and then i have two marauders to try to gain life so i have tons of life gain and my eventual win condition is just the slow loop with makeshift munitions i have to keep a bobble in case they bring in hydroplast all right so refractor quick we have finger marauder if we get tron online i also have weather the storm i'm going to keep this one Okay, they lead on a relic. Um, that's kind of decent for me. They don't have a fast clock that way, hopefully. Let's just grotto, see if there's anything good. We don't want the tower. I'll pass the turn. We're all about the life gain. So the relic is an okay thing to bring in, but um, I'm already bringing in a bunch of anti-artifact stuff. So I have like a full preparation for the relic, basically. They might have like, Dust to dust and stuff too. Power plant into a refractor. Another power plant. 
So it doesn't make sense to just play the Polluted Mire this turn because we could cast hard cast a Grim Search on turn four anyway. We cast a Thought Cast because we have four mana and we can filter with Refractor. Another tower. I will pass the turn. I'd like to put things into the graveyard as late as possible so that the relic is doing the least amount possible. They have a ginger root, so they can cast a thought cast for one mana now. Thought cast and the raven, springleaf drum. Okay. I mean, we could weather the storm here for 12. That'll probably weather. Gave me 15, 16 life or 18 life. All right, pretty solid. That's at least a turn or two. And if we draw exactly mine, we can play the Fangren Marauder. Draw a map. I can map and play the mine. Land, pass the turn. I'm likely just going to cycle the Polluted Mire, but it, you know, I as well leave it open. I don't need the map back. Fine. Question is whether or not we think that this player is going to have any counter spells in the deck, but I don't think they will. They're more likely to have Galvanic Blast. They play a Springleaf Drum. They had returned the Ancient Den, playing all their Glitters. So this is a lot of damage. Let's cycle. Find a Weather the Storm. We go to 19. All right, we're gonna play out the Fangren Marauder. And then when we claim this, if they don't have a Counterspell, destroy your Ginger Root, gain five life. Sweet. All right. And pass the turn. I don't think I necessarily need to block the Mirror Enforcer this turn. Um, if they do, like they could Galvanic my guy, and that's not great. They just have double Galvanic. Interesting. Certainly not good. Ludenmeyer is gone. We have the Nature's Claim still in there. We do have Weather the Storms, but getting hit for eight. Looking for another claim, I guess, or a grudge. We have a Deadly Dispute. Let's go Grim Search, go to 14. I probably should have used the mine to, like, my Tron Lands to cast the search. That way I could have uh, maybe disputed the Refractor later. Tap this, green, crop rotation, this one. We can grab another Grotto, see what's on top. Another Nature's Claim. All right, I guess I top that. Black, we'll Deadly Dispute, the Refractor, the Chromatic Star. Um, go ahead and Nature's Claim, the Relic. Fortunately, losing a Fanger Marauder here. Okay. And then we can Deadly Dispute on Chromatic Star and then Weather the Storm for a lot. Green, Weather. So gain 18, or 21. They've got 10 power in play though. And two fresh cards. They get in for 10. Okay. There's a Glenhawk. They can just they could tap the Springleaf drum and then hawk and then replay the Springleaf drum. Frogmite in hand. That's it. Play chromatic star. Play a wellspring. And then hopefully we draw something. Deadly dispute is good. Black. And then I can deadly dispute the wellspring. Uh, let's just map for a tower first, thin the deck, and have more mana for later. I can't play that. Oh, uh, I can. Sweet. I really just beat the Wellspring. Thought I had already made a land drop. Another Wellspring. Okay, so we'll play the Mirror Retriever. Play a Wellspring. Draw some cards. Draw a card. We'll go Chromatic Star and Expedition Map. Just getting as maximum amount of life possible. Green, weather, gain another almost 30 life. And then we're going to lock and get back the Wellspring. And at this point now we're digging, trying to find the uh, makeshift munitions to start pinging them out. Or another Fanger Marauder would be fine. On my upkeep, I want to also crack the map for thinning. All right, they're not going to block or attack because they don't want me to get back a card. Extra four is fine. So upkeep, crack the, map, crack the map, turn off this auto yield. We'll just grab a mine. I maybe should have gotten a swamp. Play a wellspring, a card, get this tower in play. 
Let's crack this for black in case we can draw another deadly dispute effect. Did not. Okay, chill. Our opponent's turn. Two cards in hand. Plays a land. Maybe they're just sitting on another land there. They get in for four. The funny thing is that at 48 life, we're really not safe still. I need a well. I need a. Okay. If I need something, I need that Grim Search. So we'll go ahead and bargain away a Wellspring. Find a Blood Fountain. So Refractor. We could take the Wellspring here and just have the Ancient Grudge in the graveyard, or we could keep the Grudge and get rid of both of their Mirror Enforcers. They're likely to have more relics in their deck. I think I just want to dig. I can just leave that in the graveyard. Let's draw a card. Okay, draw a card. Play the Blood Fountain. Then I'll play I'll Blood Token. Discard this. Nothing. Then we can weather, I guess. That's the turn. No attacks right now. We only have one more weather left in the deck and one Fangren Marauder. I get in for four. Plays a Springleaf Drum. They're not just they're just not keeping stuff in their hand, but they did not play a land. Let's attack. They're chipping away. Get a land. Play the mirror retriever. And I think it's unlikely for them to have dust to dust. We'll see. Um, we only have 14 cards in the deck. They get in. Play the land. Okay. I'm gonna thin my deck with the expedition map. Mapping for whatever Tron land I have left. We have no Tron lands left. Zero lands. Okay. We'll attack. <laughs> we could get into the situation where we lose because I think I have Bobble in the deck, but we just don't have anything left to play. Given all the glitters. Yep, I can't do anything about that. All right. Will you attack for everything? Just 15, 17 in the air? Just 17 in the air. So we're dead in two turns. Can't kill the all the glittered creature. Let's see what we draw. Deadly Dispute. I can attack with everything. <laughs> Put them to 20. All right. Going to Deadly Dispute on the Wellspring to try to draw into some way to continue to close the game. Prop rotation doesn't do anything. More Mirror Retrievers. That's funny. A Mirror Retriever. Another Mirror Retriever. Let's see what happens if I grudge my own Wellspring. Can I draw anything? Fractor. We're getting close to decking. Where's the munitions? Nature's claim. Alright, green. Claim that. Don't like that I gave them more life. I got nothing. They get in for four. Okay. I mean, this is the point where the uh, candy trails would actually be really good because we could scry. And then if our munitions is the last card, we can do stuff about with it. Chromatic star. I will crack it for red. A bauble. That's pretty good. And we can put back uh, a claim, I guess. So the last card in our deck is Nature's Claim. We find the munitions. We'll just shoot you one time with our extra refractor. Play this land. I'll attack you with everything. They're blocking. All right, so we'll fire a Frogmite with the Blood Fountain. Fire at the Mirror Enforcer with the other Mirror Retriever. And get back the Blood Fountain. So here's the slow churn. Can we deal them 23 damage and get rid of all their stuff? All right. Frogmite dies. Get back Mirror Retriever. Back another Mirror Retriever. Shoot the, frog, or shoot the Mirror Enforcer with the Mirror Retriever. Get back the Retriever. We just got to get Retrievers on the table that are ready to attack and get rid of their stuff as well. Kill this. Get back the Mirror Retriever. I like this plan. It's a good plan. Mirror Retriever. Retriever again. Retriever again. Play this Blood Fountain. And then fire at you with the Retriever. Get back the Retriever. Retriever again. Then I guess I just shoot you with the Retriever. Get back the Conjurer's Bauble. Play the Conjurer's Bauble. I'll pass the turn. Planning on getting back the two mirror retrievers this turn with the blood fountain. They play a land. Okay. 
We're attacking for four. Sure. We're watching out for a relic here. A slow churn. We get back to two mirror retrievers. Draw. Play the retriever and the retriever. Attack. So I'm trying to actually get to the point where I can get my Fanger Marauder. It's somewhere in the deck. Okay. Damage you. Get back the Blood Fountain. With the Blood Fountain. Mirror Enforcer with the, t the Blood. Mirror Enforcer with the Blood token again. Uh, Mirror Enforcer with the Retriever. We'll get back um, another Retriever. I'll bobble back a Weather the Storm. Go ahead and Blood Fountain back. Okay, got a Mirror Retriever again. Uh, sh 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 shoot you. Well, let's take out your creature with the Mirror Retriever. Get back the bobble. Got this other creature with the mirror retriever. Getting back a mirror retriever. Okay, they scooped it up. <laughs> Writing was on the wall. We we're gonna take out all their creatures and attack for a short, <laughs> a little while with little ones, and uh, eventually get there. <laughs> Let's go to the last round. Round five. I don't think this hand is keepable. Hmm. Maybe it is. I'll talk. I talked myself into it. We can deadly dispute the expedition map potentially. The grotto will show us something on top. We're looking at turn five, Tron. Mountain, Blast Runner, sad. So now we have to just dig for Weather the Storm, but they're on six cards. So they go Mountain Blast Runner. It's a very strong opener. Grotto, we're looking for not Grotto. I think I'm gonna Chromatic Star here. If we deadly dispute the chromatic star, we might be able to find um, some crop rotations and force Tron a little bit faster. They have a cold Dotha, so they're very wide. The odds that they have a um, bushwhacker in hand are probably pretty good. We find a weather the storm. I'm gonna pass the turn. Reckless impulse for our opponent, finding bolt runs resolve. I'm gonna deadly dispute the chromatic star, find another weather the storm and a mine. Okay, they hit us for a lot. We can go land, map, map, weather. Okay, land, play a map, play a map. Hmm. Probably worth uh, slamming the weather here in nine life. So next turn, we'll see if we get Tron online. Ren's Resolve, finding land, Tomb Raider, Lightning Bolt. So they're gonna attack us three, four, five. Find a crop rotation, that's very good. So let's see. I guess we can't actually do anything with that right now. Let's just see if we're dead, and then we can respond with the Weather of the Storm. Play land, Tomb Raider, seven damage. They implement, get in, crack the implement. So five, six, nine damage, died to a bolt. I have to weather here. Play the power plant and then tap this. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything else, so I'm just going to crop here for a tower. Go Golem Foundry into Golem Foundry. And then I can crack for the Cycle Land or just the uh, Grotto. Mm -hmm. The Galvanic's nine. If they have another burn spell, we're dead. We'll deal with the Rebirth. That's six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight. Okay. Not quite dead yet, pretty much dead. I assume you have a burn spell and the festivities. That's got to feel good on their end. Tee hee. And the festivities. Okay, Clark Clan Shaman and Gorilla Shaman coming in. We can cut the Golem Foundries and also cut a Conjurer's Bobble. And you can bring in the Grudge or the Scattershot. I think we want the Grudge. Maybe there's something to bringing in the Nature's Claim. Cut this Grotto. Because Nature's Claim can gain us life, right? Probably better. Okay. Got a lot of life gain going on. I need to not keep a slow opener. I need a fast opener. I keep cutting down to 17 lands. I feel like my initial uh, idea of just having 17 lands was probably just the right one the whole time. We would like to play first, yes. Okay, so I think I'm keeping. I don't have Tron. But I do have Star Refractor, and then I can Deadly Dispute something. And really, the game plan revolves around trying to wipe their board. OK, 
Okay, they play a Blast Runner. Find a Weather the Storm. So I'm going to play the Polluted Mire, actually. So this means next turn I can play the Tower. And on their turn I can Deadly Dispute plus Weather the Storm. And then uh, whatever spells they cast next turn will just all go into the Weather the Storm. They play an Implement and get in for one. And another Tron land, so I can pass the turn. I think our opponent probably plays Legacy because they've got a lot of uh, stops. Upkeep draw stops for everybody. They're going to attack for three. So we could gain nine here using the Deadly Dispute. Let's Deadly Dispute the Star. Another Weather the Storm. So I think it's worth, worth doing this. Gain nine. We're looking for a Power Plant. Let's play this Refractor and see if we can draw the Power Plant. We draw a Krark, which is almost good enough. Play this Tower. Pass the turn. Epicure for the opponent. Okay, I think I probably want to try to board wipe, but we'll see. They get in. I mean, we're not under that much pressure if they only have one land right now. Another Refractor is good. Play the Refractor. Play a Tower. I'll pass the turn. This next turn, if they can't kill me, I can Grim Search or Refractor on end step. Another Koldotha. Okay, so they're going to be pretty sad when we board wipe them out here. They are attacking for seven, which is a lot. Let's Grim Search a Refractor, finding Map and Marauder. So how do I feel about that? We go Map, crack the map. All right, that's probably okay. Another Krark. Play the map, crack the map, get a power plant, play the power plant. So I can go Krarkland Shaman. And sacrifice this. That stinks. Or I can start off with. I can go Krarkland Shaman, Sacrifice, and Grim Search. I don't have color sources then. Or I can just cast Grim Search and then gain a bunch of life. I only have one land right now. Okay, there we go. Chronic Star. Red. Play the Krarkland Shaman. Sacrifice the Chromatic Star. Alright, your turn. You have a 1 2. Play a synthesizer, see if they find a land, find a lightning bolt. So they are just not ripping lands at all. They have seven cards in hand still. They're like, this is not cool. Let's go make a green. Do do do. Play Fanger and Marauder. I'm gonna grotto and see what's on top. Take our wellspring. Okay, I'll top that. Let's just cast this. This is funny. We can wellspring. And then we can Nature's Claim our own Wellspring to draw a card. Oh, we have a crop rotation. That doesn't do that much. Let's go green. Nature's Claim the Wellspring. <laughs> draw a card. <laughs> okay, they scooped. They're just chilling on one land there. I mean, I didn't really get to show off my, <laughs> my awesome sideboarding, but it worked out. So let's keep doing it. We have really good sweeper hand. Land Star Wellspring. We get another Wellspring. They have an Implement of Combustion. Land Chromatic Star. Let's see what happens here. Most likely Koldotha Rebirth. There's the Koldotha Rebirth. Do you have any more lands? I mean, the best for me right now would be to draw into a mine so that I could actually play a bunch of stuff on the next turn. A map. Oh man, this is a hard decision, but I think I'm going to Wellspring. Mirror Retriever. Numerator for the opponent. Bushwhacker. So they're hitting us for a very large amount. We want to wipe their board. We go to seven. So I'm going to crack this for red. Play a map. Play the Kirk Clan Shaman. Hold control. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. We could easily die. Play a synthesizer. Finding another synthesizer. Play the synthesizer again. And they found a Tomb Raider. Jeez. Get in. We go to five. On nothing. Play a Mirror Retriever. They Ren's Resolve into an Implement and a Great Furnace. We play the Implement. Go. So, and they have a Blast Runner. Okay. Definitely blocking. I think I'm getting the Chromatic Star here. Okay. That was a really good draw. Let's start on Crop Rotation. For the Mine. Finding another Star. Can top, play a wellspring, draw a card, 
play a star, track the star for green, and cast Weather the Storm. Definitely not out of the water. If they crack the synth, we can just Cry Clan Shaman and sacrifice everything. Blast us to 13. Let's see if they crack a synth or the implement. They crack the implement. We go to 12. Then we can take 5 and go back to 7. Another Kuldil at the Rebirth, finding an Epicure. So we can wipe their board, which is really good. We will be at 6. Takes 5 and go to 6. Need more colored sources, but I had to use it for the Just Getting Tron online. And a Grotto. That's an awesome colored source for me. A Fangren Marauder? Okay. So, can I do everything I want to do? Definitely want the Fangren Marauder. This is 7. So if I... I don't think I can do everything I want to do right now. I think I have to play the Chromatic Star. Now I have 6, 7 mana. Okay, red. Play the Car Clan Shaman. Sacrifice. Sacrifice this one. And pass the turn. We need one more colored source. Okay, they crack the synth and they find a mountain. There's a mountain. They discard a land. I think it was a land, huh? Bolt us to three. Okay, somehow we have to live through this turn. If I can live through the turn, they don't have a none game two, all of them game three lands. Maybe they're on all lands. I'm playing to get rewarded. Did they get there? They did not get there. I'm surprised. Usually if you complain, you get rewarded. Let's go blood fountain and then gain five life, discarding this land. Manic Star. We're going to crack it for green. And then we can play the Fangren Marauder. Attack, I guess. Yeah. Okay. They crack the implement to draw a card, but we're going to gain 10 life. <laughs> they said they have never been rewarded. Still waiting for the day. We got a 4 1. All right. So I feel like my keep against Is It Control was not great. I really like having all of this power for the draw spells. Maybe there's something to do like just trimming these two specifically for a couple of candy trails. I do love the candy trails too. It's really hard to build a deck, but I hope that you enjoyed the video. I love playing Altatron. Sorry we didn't get the trophy, but we did our best. We'll see you in the next video.